the tune to the best little radio station. Creative songwriting and strong, powerful vocals paired with a dominating guitar style has fully crystallized with her latest self-titled release, which was produced by Ben Tanner of the Alabama Shakes. Self-taught guitar player, starting at the age of five, she has honed her craft over the years and continues to elevate her songwriting and performing to the next level. Emily Wolf has shared stages with the likes of Gary Clark Jr., Hart, The Pretenders, Black Pistol Fire, and many others. She played Detroit last night and has been kind enough to stop in Studio X here at WYCE. Welcome to Grand Rapids. Hey, thanks for having me. Wow, you woke me up on a Monday, that's for <laughs> sure. Sounded great. Thanks. Why don't you introduce your bandmates here? Yeah, so I'm uh, traveling with uh, my drummer, Chloe and Hyatt, and um, my bass player, Evan Nicholson. It's a lot of sound coming out of three people. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's all about frequencies, you know? Yeah. You gotta carve out the top and the bottom and yeah. stack it like a sandwich. Well, the new album is fantastic. Thank you so uh, much. 
it took you about two years to get it done. Is that correct? It did. And it you was, yeah. You recorded part of it at Muscle Shoals, is that right? I did. I, uh, I did, and it, uh, I had all the songs written for it for about two years, and I was performing them for two years, trying to find, um, trying to find some kind of a record label to put it out, but mm -hmm. then I just kind of, I was like, I'm tired of this, so I just put it out myself, and independent, independent artist uh, is the way to go, I think, for me. What was that recording process like down there in Muscle Shoals? It was partly done with um, uh, um, uh, Ben Tanner from Alabama Shakes. Yeah. How was that process working with him down there? It was great. It was a. Uh, it's a really magical place. Like there's the. You know, I was like, okay, I need to see this for myself. Is it really this like amazing place? And it really is. It like brings out a lot of creativity. Um, and the the studio that we recorded in was like right on the lake, and. Um, yeah, it was it was this little kind of older studio, but um, it was a lot of fun. Really tall ceilings, really cool gear, and yeah, Ben was a lot of fun to work with too. Now you you had several EPs and you've had recordings out before, but this one is your full your first full length album. Yeah, and you were court kind of courted by la different labels. People would come in. Uh, why was going in that independent route so important to you? Well, you know, I think it it's important for me to have a, be in the driver's seat of my own career, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's the most important thing for me. Um, yeah, I've al actually always been independent. Um, I just kind of put my music out uh, whenever I wanted to and however I wanted to, and it's it feels really good to do that. Yeah, it's, if you can drive and be the in creative control at all times, I think that's always the best option. Yeah. Uh, especially sure. as an artist. Yeah. Uh, t let's talk about your guitar. Okay. Um, you call it your third arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those people who may not see, can't see uh, what's going on right now, what is this guitar? It's an, it's an Epiphone Sheridan, correct? Yeah, Epiphone Sheridan. Just off the shelf, totally stock. And you, you know. bought it at what, Guitar? Guitar Center. Yeah, guitar Center. Straight up you know, 400 bucks, like eight years ago. <laughs> and, and it's, it's been like with you ever since. I mean, it's big. It's a huge guitar, mm -hmm. but it's got a big sound, so that's why I like it. You and know. you're also a gearhead, so oh, yeah. you, you've got pedal boards that you kind of create and to get this big, massive sound. Yeah. Yeah, got a bunch of pedals. Got, got a board, got um, delay and reverb and... Lots of stacked overdrives. It's almost like a hobby for you, right? Oh my god, it's so much fun. Yeah. It's What's your favorite part about putting this stuff together? Just to nerd out over it all? Mm. And putting it together, it's like it puts me in this like zen state of mind because it's like just I like to work with my hands. Mm -hmm. Very tactile, so I like to actually the act of putting it together is fun for me. But it's also really fun to try different things and like make my guitar sound like whatever I want to. And there's so many options for pedals, so it's, that's one of those things. It's like, um, it's like finding different paint colors. So I like that a lot. I was doing some research on you and I ran across a really cool video, video of you. You got to play Eric Clapton's Crossroads guitar. It's a 1964 Gibson. Yeah. That, and you got, it, which he played when, during his cream days. Yeah. And you looked like a kid in a candy store holding that guitar. Well, the thing <laughs> is, they didn't tell me it was his until I had it in my hands. And I was like, well, this is really nice. Like, it feels really cool. You can really hear that it's from the 60s. And they were like, yeah, that's Eric Clapton's. And I was like, just kind of freaking out about it. I was it like, really not trying to move. Because <laughs> like he auctioned it off. He something. auctioned it off for about, like, 800 grand or something like that. So I was just kind of sitting there trying not to drop it or something. <laughs> it's a great video. I mean, you oh, you just look so thrilled to be able to hold it, and you can just see it in your face. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it looks it, pretty wild. It's great. But in that same video, you you talk about Hendrix and Clapton and B.B. King having their own unique sound. How did you find your unique sound? Ooh, um, I just kind of tested everything until I found what I hear in my head um, in terms of, like, guitar tone and um, what I choose to play, the notes that I choose to play. Um, yeah, it took me a couple of years to fit to like find the sound, and you know, and like I played this one pedal that I've got on my board right now, and I was like, "That's it! Oh my god!" Like it, it was the coolest feeling. 
So yeah, it took me a couple years, but I just tried a bunch of different stuff and listened to a bunch of different records that I love and um, tried to emulate who I love and add what I what I think could be uh, a little cool flair to it. So yeah. You said that uh, your goal for the the newest uh, album was to to do Queens of the Stone Age meets Demi Lovato. Yeah. I, I want to, yeah, yeah, Ben, <laughs> I emailed that to Ben before I met him, my producer, and I'm sure he thought I was insane, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I just love pop arrangement, and I love rock guitar, and so I wanted to try and combine those things. Well, it's a, it's a perfect marriage on this new album. Thanks. It really, really is. Thanks. We are live in Studio X at WYCE with Emily Wolf, who was gracious enough to stop by and say hello before she heads on over to Milwaukee tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about Holy Roller. Yeah. Catchy song. Thanks. I was I've been singing it all weekend. That's so awesome. Pre prepping for this. Uh, t talk to me about that song. Yeah, that song. That song. I think I've re-recorded that thing four times, trying to get it to be exactly the way I want it, and I finally did. I think, but yeah, it's one of those songs that I, I wrote out of. Uh, feeling super ag ag aggressive and like mad, just, you know, out, uh, um, oppressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided to put it on a global scale and kind of relate it to um, the women's movement and the, the new kind of uh, brigade. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say, say something about it, you know? And uh, we'll see if it has an impact. It'd be awesome if it does, but um, yeah, I, I I just wanted to say what I thought about it. So. Well, it's certainly getting some love here at WYCE. Thank you. All right, oh, can we hear that song? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Holy Roller right here at WYCE with Emily Wolf. <laughs>
both live and Studio X at WYCE. The new self-titled album is out now. Thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, my God. Thanks for having me and for uh, spinning my stuff. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So well, awesome. if you want to learn more about what Emily Wolf is up to, you can visit emilywolfmusic.com. Good luck on your tour. Thank you so much. All right, now back to Shelby in the studio. Hell yeah. You guys sounded great.